as you can see, <laughs> this is the easiest way to get cars in the shop is when I have a open space right here and I can just back the trailer right in. Um, and I do this all the time and my neighbor, he tried to help me, but I was like, nah, bro, I got this down to a science and I've done this enough times. I know how to get it in here. So uh, this is the car getting a 408 stroker. Shout out to my boy Jay in Texas that for sending this to me. He's been super patient. He's been waiting for about a year and a half. And, um, you know, Tori went and picked it up for him, brought it to me. He's been sitting at the house for about two weeks. Um, so now we're about to just go ahead and get, get started on it. I want to at least get it to the shop since I'm nearing the finish end on this one. Uh, this is a quick one. This is already swapped. It just needs a new motor and uh, dressed and installed. So this would be about a day and a half worth of work. And then we'll discuss further options on this after we get it running. But I wanted to get it here to the shop while I had the space to bring it in and um you know kind of give you guys a shot of how i how i gotta do things here when i'm by myself so let's get it off the trailer and uh into position and then we'll go from there i'm probably gonna drop the trailer in the shop because i need to fix some stuff on the trailer and it's a lot easier to do it with it in the shop like this so once i drop the car i'll probably just leave the trailer here and um work on it what i need to do All right, man, so here we go, jumping in this thing with this uh, 408 stroker. Um, just kind of unpack the car to kind of look at, you know, all the parts were kind of thrown in the trunk and in the back seat and stuff like that. So just started scanning, you know, what he had and, you know, making sure we're not gonna need anything. Looks like we're putting this nice, beautiful radiator in here. It's nice thick one, it's got some fans, a shroud. So we'll be putting that one in there. Um, let's see, this is the engine here had it covered up so this is the engine here 408 stroker um so i'm gonna get it in the air and start putting the valve covers on and putting in all the sensors and stuff like that and uh we'll get the the mo motor mounts on it i think they're down there and this car is equipped with brp mounts um it's already been swapped so um he had an issue with the engine uh so the engine blew up so he got a new engine built and then um you know now we're putting it in now we're putting a new engine in so this one will be pretty easy um because it's already been swapped i mean all the and he's running holly so he's running terminator x max right here so we don't have to worry too much about you know how i am about harnesses and stuff like that and the car was already running so that's a huge plus for us that's why i took the job because i was like look the car was already running and i just need to get it back running put the engine in it and you know tweak a couple things here and there no problem, I'd be happy to do it. Um, eventually, he is, may go boosted. This engine was built for boost. Um, so we had talked about doing an LSA on it, uh, a Magnuson, there's a couple options we're, we're uh, kind of experimenting with uh, or you know discussing, but I told him, you know what, let me get the engine in, get it running, um, you know, work out all the kinks, we'll do a first oil change, you know, stuff like that. And then we'll come back and revisit, um, you know, 
forced induction. Um, I know he's got some suspension work he wants to do. I know I got to do the front end, the tie rod, stuff like that. He's got all the Pro Forge stuff in the back. So we've got to tackle that. Uh, he does not have AC in the car currently, so that's uh, one thing we got to do as well. But again, I told him let's hold off on the AC until we figure out what um, force induction we're going to go. Because if we're going to go LSA, uh, a lot of those brackets come with the AC and all that stuff um, already on it. Um, you know, the LS Simple bracket has the AC compressor, all that stuff already built in it. Well, the you know the mount for it. Um, should we go another option because he's running the BRP mounts, we can run the, uh, AC down low like factory and I can take it up the street and have them make me, uh, the lines. Um, so my plan is to get the engine dropped in. Uh, I'm waiting on the drive shaft people to finish with this one. So as soon as the drive shaft come back, we'll jump back on this, but I figured, you know what, today let's go ahead and I'm pretty sure I can at least get the engine in, bolt it up and you know just get a couple things done on it you know kind of get some progress get some of this stuff out the way and you know get get moving on it so i'm gonna uh put on some jack stands in the air and then we'll start um you know getting the engine up on the on the hoist and dressed and all that stuff and see how far we get tonight hey man whoever took this motor out they did it right i mean look valley cover motor mounts that's what i needed What's this? Uh, lower something, lower steering. So something with the power steering pump. We even got the old spark plug, Impala. Water pump, Impala. Header bolts, Impala. Look at all these bolts and little baggies and labels. Beautiful. Just makes my job so much easier. So got it, I had to move it over a little bit. Just kind of looking at all this stuff, how everything's run. So we got this out the way. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jack the car up just a little bit, enough for me to slide under there. Um, or really, I really don't need to do that just yet. I need to get the uh, engine in and get it lined up with the, with the transmission. Um, and once I get that done, get it on the dowels and seated, then I can jack it up and go under there and put the bell housing bolts in. Once the bell housing bolts are in, engine's in, phew, that's half the battle, so. We'll see if we can get it done that way. I'm hoping I can. Um, you know, we'll see. <laughs> and then we'll start investigating some of this extra wiring and stuff in here. Um, so, off we go. So, I was hoping to get some footage today uh, of putting the 408 stroker in the car. As you see, I've cleaned up all the parts and stuff I had sitting and apparently it has no oil pan on it. Um, I think I mentioned in the other video, the oil pan had a crack in it, uh, so it was leaking oil out. So I ordered another pan, ordered the wrong pan. So I literally had to box it back up, ship it back, and I'm waiting on the new one now. Um, so I've been saving the footage. This is probably a week later since the footage you saw earlier. Um, but I was like, you know what? I've been trying to save the footage um of this so i can you know get it in and, and make one video but uh it's been a couple days since i made a video so i figure i'll just go ahead and edit all this footage put it out there and then hopefully within the next couple of days we'll pick up on this car and um we'll have the the 408 in, in the car and hopefully have it all together uh only thing i need else i need to order is a harmonic balancer uh because and most stroker cranks are like this they put a a key on it so i got to get a balancer and uh according to andy all the sfi cranks have them on there so sfi balancers uh getting ready to get this thing wrapped up as well uh we're tossing the headers in and some other stuff so i'll make a separate video on the camo car because we should have oil pressure soon um but i wanted to just at least make an outro to this video in the video here and we'll pick up on the 408 stroker car um, once the new oil pan comes in and we get it dropped in, I mean, I got the motor mounts on a couple of other things, went through the box, seen what I needed and got everything ready to go. Um, but yeah, so waiting on a new oil pan, uh, once the new oil pan comes, we'll drop it in and then we'll get this thing going. So I'll see y'all in the next one.